Hey, my name's Andrew, and this is the Sigma 30 millimeter f1.4 lens. All right, so the reason I bought this lens, I have been using the Sigma 16 millimeter lens, which is what you're watching right now, actually, and I've been using it for about two years to get all my YouTube videos, to do vlogs and other content, um, and I've just absolutely loved the Sigma 16 millimeter lens. And for most of my content, it's perfect, but there are times when I kind of wish that it was punched in a little bit more. 16 millimeters on the Canon M50 is kind of wide, so it's perfect for a setting like right now, but when I'm doing B-roll or photography, it's just a little wide. So that's where it became kind of natural when I saw the Sigma 30 millimeter to say, I love the Sigma 16, I can get the same exact results, but a little bit more punched in with the Sigma 30. So I got it, and I honestly can say I have not been disappointed. One thing that's really attractive about this lens is when it first came out, it was about $340, but now it's been out for a while, so you can pick one up brand new for about $250 to $270, which at that price and the quality you can get out of it, I think is an absolute steal. But we're gonna get into the pros and cons here in a minute, but first, you probably wanna see some sample photos and videos. So let's check out some sample photos. So those were some of the sample photos that I took with this lens. Now let's check out some sample video. Now that you actually saw some sample photos and some sample videos, let's talk about the pros and cons. Starting with the cons, because I only really have one, and that is there's no image stabilization on this lens, which for some people, if you're gonna only be using it for photography, is not a deal breaker, but if you're gonna be doing video, just keep that in mind. But that is my only con, so let's jump into the pros now. So pro number one, as you could see from the sample photos and videos, this lens is extremely sharp and just gets you a really good image. My second pro is the focal length on this lens is just very comfortable for most applications. I think for photography, you don't have to get really close to a subject to take the photos, and it's also not something where you really have to take a step back because it's too close. It's just a very comfortable focal length. Pro number three, as I've mentioned before, it's very affordable. I think $250 really isn't that much as far as a you know 30 millimeter lens at 1.4. I mean, try to find a better lens at that price. And pro number four, the build quality is absolutely amazing. Just like the Sigma 16 millimeter, it's just, there's nothing on it that feels chintzy or plastic. It's just all really good metal and rubber and I absolutely love the durableness of this lens. All right, so in summary, if you're looking for a good photography lens or B-roll lens, get this lens, don't wait anymore. If you own the Canon M50 and you've not bought any lenses for it yet, buying this lens will literally make you feel like you have a brand new camera. So if you've enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave a like. If you do wanna pick up this lens, I'll leave a link in the description. If you wanna watch other budget reviews, I do that all the time on this channel, so consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you next time.